Welcome to our programming tutorial. Today, we're tackling an interesting question from one of our viewers about creating associative arrays in Pascal. Specifically, they want to know how to use arrays as values in these structures. Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through a question, going through those answers, and hopefully it leads to your solution. Remember, stay a little bit crazy just like me to get through to your resolution. Now let's get started. To create an associative array in Pascal using arrays for the values, we first need to understand how to define an associative array in Pascal. In Free Pascal, we can use a dynamic array to hold our values. Next, we will declare a variable to hold our associative array. This will map country names to their corresponding languages, which will be stored in dynamic arrays. Now, let's write a procedure to read the data from the file and populate our associative array. We will open the file, read each line, and split the country and language. Finally, we will implement the logic to append languages to the corresponding country in our associative array. This will allow us to store multiple languages for each country. In summary, we have defined an associative array in Pascal, read data from a file, and populated it with countries and their respective languages. This approach allows us to manage multiple languages for each country effectively. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To create an associative array in Pascal using arrays for values, start by opening Lazarus and adding the FGL unit. Then add a button and a memo to your form. Implement a function to strip white space from strings. Define a map type for string keys and tstring list values. In the button click event, read from a text file, split each line into country and language, and populate the map. Finally, display the results in the memo. Here's a code snippet for the button click event. It reads each line from the file, extracts the country and language, and adds them to the associative array. After processing, it displays the countries and their respective languages in the memo. When you run the program and click the button, the memo will show countries along with the languages spoken there, such as Bulgaria with Bulgarian, and Austria with Croatian, German, Hungarian, and Slovenian. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you were looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped, and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.